hello guys welcome back to new video and in this video uh, i will show you how can we create this react image crop for our editor using react image crop package so as you can see here i have a url of the image and i can edit the image like this uh, download the image and uh, rotate the image so let's get started so as you can see i am on my vs code and here i have set up uh, uh, the basic part that is the top input box uh, this input box and i already uh, installed uh, that package react image crop in my uh, package.json and uh, this react icon for showing the icon on my uh, website so now uh, what i am going to do i am going to create that crop functionality for that i am going to my component file and i am going to create a component image crop now inside it i am going to create uh, one css file and one jsx file so let me first give the overview of another component that we have landing page so inside to my landing page i have one input box and one button on click of uh, submit button i am passing this value to my uh, i am saving this value to this url so and this url i will pass to my that react image crop package now i am going to my image crop.jsx file and to create functional component and here i am going to define few state so this variable is used to rotate the image and similarly uh, height and width now i will import the react crop component from uh, that re react image crop package firstly let me uh, quickly go through the documentation of that react image crop package so here you can see uh, there is a sandbox so here you can see it provides this component react crop and we have some props that we can pass here like maximum width minimum width and on change method and on complete crop uh, this one on complete crop so whenever our crop got completed we call this function like there are few props that we can pass so let me copy this and and i am going to import this package sorry component in the documentation they mentioned we have to import either uh, this file or this file so i will import this css so i am going to copy this one and i will paste it here everything is fine and uh, I'm going to import this function in my app.js and I will pass the URL in this component URL URL let me do one thing if URL exists only then we will pass now inside my image crop I am going to export or import that and I will find here now if I go to documentation again as you can see we have this on change method and one is on complete method and on change method we have to define this variable row, which we can use like that and whenever uh, we change anything like crop box change this function got called and we will set the crop accordingly so let me quickly do it so here you can see we have this crop defined and on the top i am going to 
uh, define the variable called, uh, called crop so initially it is null after that we have another method called on complete and on complete we have so we are going to define another variable set completed crop and here set completed crop sorry uh my it should be completed crop so whenever my cropping completed i will uh, this function will get called inside this e uh, i'm going to uh, we have height and width so so what i'm going to do i am going to set completed crop to the e you can see the image so resolution is good for this image i'm going to use Here you can see our uh, image got downloaded also uh, that image crop uh, is working fine so now i will put the console here so that you can see uh, what we have inside that e variable if you see uh, that function got pulled whenever i stop cropping first i do that now the on change it is not calling on change that function will call but as soon as i stop dragging that function got called and inside that we have this property height width unit x and y so what i am going to do if height is equal to zero uh, so we have this function inside this we have this x so x is this distance y is this distance and height is the height of the draggable Similarly, width is the width of the draggable, like the selected area. And unit is px. So, uh, according to the documentation, it can be in percentage or prop, like px, whatever we prefer. Uh, it can be px or percentage, whatever you want. So, I provided px here. So as soon as I completed the doing, uh, this code prop. So, what I am going to check inside here is e dot height will equal zero so if height is zero or width is zero i am going to set my value
so inside my canvas preview as you can see uh, firstly I have created the canvas element uh, so it will render uh, context 2d after that uh, if uh, no context is there I will send I will throw the error else I will declare two variable uh, scale x and scale y so this value uh, variable I calculated to det determine the scaling factor what is the like what is the natural dimensions of the image like these are the natural dimension of the image and what are what is the display dimension so based on that I will get this scale x and scale y property and now I have defined this variable pixel ratio so what is the device pixel ratio value is assigned to this variable so which represent the ratio of physical page pixel to the CX, CSS pixel on the device after that uh, these values basically uh, you can play around this value like uh, by consoling here say you can console the value scale x and scale y but we get there also to be true like uh, i am even not sure what this this value do so i googled it really and then i found this value and now i i am able to understand after consoling like changing the value and consoling the value so in that way you will get the better idea and after everything i have this value provided by the canvas dot save uh, whatever the value of the context is there it will get saved and translate as you can see we have crop x and crop y so this will move the origin to this value and rotate by the radian rate value that i passed uh, convert it to the radian radian and after that i draw the image after that we have promise as you can see this is used to download the image as a blob uh, or uh, here i created the element after that it's left to the blob url and link to download to the image and whenever uh, after that uh, the created element is got like code click we are getting this error message fail to execute to blob on html can that so after debugging found that we have to provide source origin is equal to anonymous tag to the image so this is security feature that prevent canvas to access pixel data when it contain the image so if I go to my Google Chrome now try to download the image code downloaded will open yeah open the file open the file yeah you can see only that part code downloaded that we cropped because I want to zoom and want to download only uh, the this part so click download open the image yeah you can see only that part code cropped and downloaded so guys in this way you can make a image editor you can add extra extra functionality like some event listener like when you when you scroll the mouse you will adjust the zoom in zoom out so basically what it is going to do it is going to scale the set the scale state to particular value when we uh, scroll the wheel i am using my scroll of mouse and whenever i scroll in and scroll out it's getting zoom in zoom out so that's it for this video guys if you like the video please subscribe the channel and let me know in the comment section on which next topic you want to see the video